Oh, with winter precipitation becoming a real possibility here across Acadiana over the next few days, I thought I'd go over some forecasting techniques that we use right here in the weather lab to help us determine just what kind of precipitation we could be looking at. So I'm going to be going over four different precip types or four different scenarios, and it's important to keep in mind that for each scenario, the precipitation starts out as snow in the cold upper parts of the atmosphere. So pretty straightforward here with scenario number one. We have a warm layer of air that when the snow encounters that is eventually going to melt and just fall out as plain old rain at the surface. So something that we're pretty accustomed to seeing here uh, across South Louisiana. Scenario number two, we have a deep warm layer of air in the upper parts of the atmosphere that when the snow falls through that is going to eventually melt, but then it's going to encounter a very thin layer of freezing temperatures just above the surface, but it's not going to have enough time to completely refreeze, but it will be able to freeze on contact with the surface, especially with temperatures at or below freezing. That's our freezing rain solution and also the one that leads to those icy road conditions kind of treacherous travel conditions and really uh, this is the scenario we've been tracking over the last couple of days for our potential storm system on Monday. So keep that in mind if you have any travel plans, especially late in the day on Monday into Tuesday there on our Mardi Gras. Scenario number three kind of flip flops uh, from scenario number two. So the warm layer not nearly as deep. It's more shallow in nature. So as the snow falls through the atmosphere, it's only going to partially melt, kind of becoming a slushy raindrop in nature, and then it's going to encounter a much deeper, colder layer just above the surface, so it is actually going to be able to refreeze. It's not going to have the same shape or composition as the original snowflake. Rather, it's going to be in the form of sleet. That's what we see at the ground. And then, of course, scenario number four, that's where our temperature profile remains below freezing throughout the column, and that is a scenario you want to see if you're looking for snow. So there's more on this graphic in greater detail in an article over at KTC.com. Hopefully you're able to check that out. But for now, in the Weather Lab, I'm meteorologist Bradley Benoit for KTC TV3.